Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to show you a very cool design that I think is going to be fast line twisting. And this is an idea that I've seen it before, but it was all with balloons to 60. Now I'm going to show you the balloons that I um, I have that is thanks to one of my dearest subscribers that sent me a package from Timu. And probably there's other places, not just Timu, that you can get this type of balloons. It's kind of like a spiral right a spiral idea and i'm gonna show you the balloons um it came in a bag like this okay and it's just not that big as it's this big see this big but when you inflate it it can be this long so these balloons let me see if it had a name uh they say it's mixed colors mixed colors um but i think also serpentex you know have these type of balloons and um, it's kind of like a spiral balloons and this is the cool thing i'm gonna inflate one let me see if there's another color that i haven't tried because i was thinking well to twist them and what can we make if we twist this that these balloons when you uh feel it it's, they are not that strong for twisting, okay? They are kind of delicate, which is cool because it's kind of uh, a little bit see-through. And look, when you inflate the balloon, oopsie, it goes all the way this part first. So if you think about, for example, making something as a show, this is the first part. And look, it kind of looks like a, you know what it looks. <laughs> you tell me, what do you think it looks? And so it can be kind of like a perfect joke if you go to events for adults, for example. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep going blowing this uh, because that's kind of, you see, it goes just like this. So, for example, if you are in an event and you, you know, just has time to go, but there are still kids, you can just give it these balloons and it's still looking kind of cool because one balloon with this shape can be many things. Another cool thing, it can be a magic wand. This can be a magic wand. You can tell them, yeah, it is it's a magic wand balloon. <laughs> I think it's kind of another cool, you know, a wizard, a wizard, you know, magic wand. Um, now, I'm gonna show you all the colors because there is more, but I don't think we needed this really all to use for this design. That is gonna be a crazy hat. And this is something you can be wearing when you go to events, it call attention and it's very fast and easy to make, okay? so. I'm going to show you the colors I have here inflated. And there is a, a big variety. On top of that, there is also purple. It's just I'm not inflating the purple. But with this, I think it's going to be good enough. Okay? So, for example, if you're doing these parades, um, you know, uh, pride, pride month, pride uh, parades, you can make this inflated all by you know this bag and start making hats and this is one of the hats i'm going to show you how to make it's probably the a mohawk hat uh, or a mohawk helmet and this is how it, i'm you can make it with only one balloon to 60 and make that basic helmet shape but i'm gonna try with two balloons to 60. now if you have balloons 350 it may be you know better because you want something big to hold all these balloons you know there i'm talking about right now five balloons of this is going to be holding so that's what i was thinking too but let's experiment and see what happens i'm going to try first with one balloon to 60. inflate it almost all the way maybe just one finger not inflated and then you're going to make a bubble measure the you know someone's head and whatever you measure, give it a little bit more. Why? That way it's not, not that too tight, you know? Give it a little bit more, maybe two fingers more. Now, look what happened. This balloon I'm using uh, is not that long enough. You know, sometimes it may be longer and you can go and close this part. Now, I'm trying to make it comfortable, so I don't want to make it too tight. That's why, even if I wanted to show you with one balloon, and I can't. Okay, I'm using also balloons that are not a specific uh, brands, you know, it came in bags, you know, I think these ones are sold from Timu. And now let's go with two. So what happens when you have two balloons? Okay, now it looks, kind of looks in the other, but it's okay. You grab it, make a bubble in, and bend it, kind of like half what is going to be a loop, an 18 finger loop, something like that. 
okay like something like it's a eight finger a pedal or you just can measure from here all the way to the other side so it's pretty much that okay so when you have this you bend you twist this part then you make a bubble with the other balloon okay and close it now you have two like this look and you can measure it's supposed to measure the same so okay this doesn't have to be perfect we're trying to do our best okay now you have something like this you have here one bubble if you want things more stable you can make here more bubbles like maybe uh, a, a loop another loop if you want let me show maybe better better just like this but i don't want to then run out of balloons you have this and this is optional again only because i get one that to be more stable and then it's not to start coming you know moving to one side and the other one so that's why i'm making it this way to make it more stable just making sure what is making pinch twist there and you can get something like this to make just things more stable there it can be pinch twist little pedals and all this look you can even choose one okay and just go to the other side or you can try to play with both it can be another idea so i'm gonna try both make a bubble to the end and bend it so now you have another bubble here which is cool to make things more stable and then this one if you want look it can be a spiral now all the way all the way okay and then make a bubble i know you may think to see that you're complicating yourself yes it's good to complicate myself sometimes because what is another fastest way to make this? You know? <laughs> I know. You want me to show you? I'm gonna show you another fastest way to make that shape for a helmet. And I'm gonna inflate these balloons. We're gonna inflate it using one finger tail. Okay, one finger tail. Tie. And repeat. This I'm gonna show you the fastest way. And then tie. What are you gonna do? Just make bubble in with each bubble and bubble. Twist, 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 lock. Measure the kid's head or whatever goes from the elbow to maybe this part, this uh wrist, something like that can be the size of a, a you know regular head, I guess. If you think something longer, you can even the whole you know elbow to your fingers if you want something bigger, but yeah. And then the right to make two bubbles together and pinch twist. Okay, and then you have this piece there, and all this you can go and go in the spiral all the way until you make here end with two bubbles and grab it and bend it like this. And twist them with all the other bubbles so things doesn't get untwist faster so things doesn't get untwist so you have something like this so any of these ways <laughs> are the same pretty much but i know the last one i think it was much easier now how to attach that's what i was thinking is going to be kind of a cool idea to just put it in between you see in between and it can stay there so let's just start. I'm gonna start with orange. Maybe you can start one right here into the pinch twist. What do you think? Because the idea of the mohawk is that there's gone all balloons, balloons, balloons. But what about this? I'm gonna just make a bubble to the end in order to make things able to stay. Twist, 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 and introduce it right there. There we go. And now keep going another color what color could it be maybe some blue make a bubble twist 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 and pass it all the way right here and then keep going another one yellow and introducing in the next opportunity to open a loop 
Now, look how it's looking with just three because this is what you have to decide how many you want to put in each hat. With three, it's okay. Um, if you want to add more, it is possible. Just grab another one and make a bubble. And now go back to the same first hole. You see, there's an entrance here. Just put in the same, and they are going to start getting together there. Now, repeat this with the blue. In the same area that you attach the blue, just open it a little bit more again and just leave it there. So look, it's more. And I think this is a very cool way to make this type of mocha hat. Now, less worry, because one thing is that it is looking great. You can even add another color. You want me to add another color? I think the other color about this brand, it was purple. That's the only one I wasn't using yet. Oh, or, and then also they have green, but the green, I'm using it for the base. So let's blow, um, oops, I'm covering the lens. I'm going to display this. Well, it's, <laughs> why I'm using this? Let's try it one more time. And then I'm going to wear it, and then that's it. Then I'm going to wear it, and you will check it out, and you will see. I'm going to be modeling in the hat. Now, let's be gentle, because again, these balloons are not that strong to twist, you know, to make a balloon figurine, but just to use the whole idea of how they look. They look super cool. Now, now make a bubble and just attach it next to where the yellow goes. You see, the spiral opens in some spots that you can use it to attach those. Now, let's wear it. I'm gonna go a little bit down with my seat, so I'm gonna be able to wear it. You can wear it this way, that is already more like clownish, or you can wear it this angle and it's more like a mocha. So I'm gonna go and do this. Let's see. Hmm, I think it's looking really cool, don't you think? So I wanted to share that because in case you don't wanna use balloons, for example, to 60, you can give it that spiral shape using these balloons too. And they are very light because they are skinny. They are this um, texture that makes the balloon delicate, but also light. And so it can be, of course, on top of your head on a hat, like very simple, but still, you know, staying there and looks big. That's kind of the cool part, do you think? Well, that's the tutorial. Today's tutorial. <laughs> this is today's tutorial. Easy, cool, fun, but also I uh, wanted to share that you don't have sometimes to have uh, the best balloons, you know, brands, and you can make really cool things with the balloons you get from Amazon or from Timu. This again came from Timu, thanks to one of my subscribers sending balloons. And I really appreciate it because of course I can play and in, in each of these bags came a hundred, I think. But uh, so that way, you know, this is can be one of the things you can do with these balloons. If I think right away, what else can I make using this? Well, I'm thinking about also the gun. Um, so a laser gun. Yes, so you just grab one, what color? Red, imagine red. So I'm gonna inflate it. And let's be constant, but nice and gentle because these balloons, again, they are not strong, okay? So you try this. And then you will need another balloon 260. Oh, you know, you have this and then a 260. What color will it can go with blue, red and blue? Let's see for the gun. And you can make this as a laser gun idea. So let's inflate it like leaving something like two or even nothing, you know. But I'm leaving just three fingers. Let's see what happens. I squish. And this is something you can make. The holder. I look. A loop big enough that the balloon can go through. So think about that, okay? Big enough that the balloon can be go through. So eight finger loop. Then okay, you can make a bubble, pinch twist. Okay, and then you can go back and make the same idea. Okay, let's see. Eight finger loop and a bubble pinch twist. Only because I like to kind of make things more stable there, but you don't have to make that. So look, with just this, it will be good enough. One can be bended. One can be bended like this, okay? And so you have something like this that keeps it going to be holding. So you have the idea. Then from here, just pass this 
whatever it's easier for you. So for example, if I'm gonna pass it from this part that is skinny, I think that's, that's gonna be smart. I'm just gonna be pulling until I pass this one right there. And then probably not that much, something like this. And even this part, if you want, you can bend it like this. Why? Uh, wait, actually, better bend this part, right? I'm sorry, guys, and this one is okay. Because that way, you can hold it like this. And this piece, look, this piece, you can connect it here so doesn't, things doesn't get untwist. Remember, this one is not really meant to be twisting as a, you know, a balloon dog. But you can maybe try one bubble here, you know, and that bubble twist, 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 twist. And then this nozzle can just connect it to make a some shape here. Some shape into this pinch twist. So just pull and pass into the pinch twist. So then you have something there to make more as a shape, a full shape, okay? So look how cool is the design. You can, of course, try to make more cool things. I just giving you ideas while I kind of right away without not thinking that much, figuring it out using these cool balloons. Those, look at this type of gun. I think it's kind of fun. It have this cool already shape of, from the balloon. It came that way. So imagine if you make this and then you give this to the kid, the kid is gonna feel awesome, you know? <laughs> the kid, yes, let me go back. So let's have a better angle of what I am wearing. So what do you think? Like this in the front is kind of like people can see for a picture, but also if you put it like this, uh, make sure you take a picture to the kid, you know, like in person. So he's like this. Let me see, my chair is not that. Then it goes down like this, so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so then you can have a picture of the kid like this. Like pew, 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 pew. So I hope you like it. I think this is gonna be fun. The idea of playing with colorful things, it's fun, colorful balloons. And already it's big, you know, that's something cool. And again, because the balloons are very light, you're gonna be able to, you can tell people it's not uncomfortable to wear this hat. Uh, even yourself, wear a hat and you don't have to add so many colors. I just add all six colors, but you don't have to maybe just play what you, you know, can also uh, consider it. Maybe three, you know, or four or six, so it's up to you. But this is the idea. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. And if you get this balloon, you can find it on Timu, okay? On Timu. And I'm gonna show you how it goes the shape. <sighs> One more time, Jan. It looks bigger on the picture, you know, when you see pictures, it's looking like they're so big, super long, but they are not that long. They are just something like this, okay? So, um, that's the back. I think it's okay. And good thing, I, the pricing, you know, you're gonna get surprised. I don't know how much is this, but the price is uh, probably, if I found it, it's there. Okay, okay. I'm leaving now. Don't forget what is coming. Woohoo! Yes, this is one of the awesome shirts that usually when you go to Las Vegas Bling Bling Jamba Look Convention, they give you one t shirt to represent, you know, the Las Vegas Bling Bling Jam. So this is one I got, I think, my first year. And it's all about Balloon Dog International Holiday because it's in July too, I think. We celebrate also the International Balloon Animal Holidays. There's three dates international and it's all about balloons and it's happening in July, so that's really cool. Um, then the other thing is, um, don't forget for more information, if you wanna go to this awesome balloon convention, Las Vegas Bling Bling Jam, visit the website. There must be there a way to contact Steve uh, the organizer and he, Steve Klein, that's his name. And so that way uh, he can give you, you know, more ideas. But what I can tell you, it's a very fun moment, four day event, full of classes, tutorials, balloon tutorials, but in person, which is much better, much, much better. Also, you will have jam sessions that is gonna be, you know, every day. So all the time, we are going to be kind of having fun, playing with balloons, trying to see what can we create, you know, have fun. Also enjoy, you know, um, parties like the parade, you know, and hang out and meet friends that have this thing in common with you, that they love balloons and they just like to celebrate the joy of uh, one thing, learning, you know, learning how to make something that people is going to feel like, oh, this is so cool. 
<laughs> that's the feeling that makes us feel very happy right with balloons and uh, and plus you learning because there is going to be instructors coming from different parts of the world i know from ireland i think it's coming one and then another one from japan and uh, this year 2024 is very special because las vegas Bling Bling Jam is turning its uh, 10th anniversary so it's going to be a big celebration i hope you can make it and that's it have a wonderful day ciao ciao